Hey dickheads, welcome back to my channel, and the first episode of The High Hide opens up. Let's open her up. I've been told by uh, at least two people that I have a really particular way of opening things, and that it might be something people would be interested in watching. So I'm just gonna start recording me opening things that I find interesting. Chime in down below if you like it, or if you hate it, or if you just don't give a shit and never wanna see it again. Let me know wherever people let people know those kinds of things, okay? So without further ado, let's open the first thing on High Hide Opens Up. It's going to be Crisis Zone by Simon Hanselman. Simon Hanselman is one of my favorite comic artists. I first found him on Tumblr on Girl Mountain where he would post little Meg Mog and Owl comics. I kind of forgot about him for a little while and then got back into him a couple years ago. Recently collected all of his available works. He was recently nominated uh, and won an award for both Crisis Zone and Stems and Seeds, which is a kind of like B-sides collection of old stuff, new stuff, things that never quite made the cut. Just all of his stuff is fantastic. If you are unfamiliar with his work, go check it out. Simon Hanselman, he's on Instagram, and that was where Crisis Zone was first published. When everyone went into isolation last year, Simon started releasing a daily comic of 10 panels where his characters from Meg, Mog, and Owl went through the pandemic one day at a time. And it reminded me a lot of how the South Park guys did that documentary, Six Days to Air, where they have six days to start to finish create an episode so they can keep things super current to go along with the modern pace of things. Simon did it day to day, and the story started with the pandemic and then went through the police riots and you know shortages and people getting COVID. Eventually took a bit of a Watchmen type twist with a revenge plot. People changed gender, like it's a absolute fucking trip. So that's why for the first open up, I wanted to open up Simon Hanselman's Crisis Zone. I got this early. It's not even available to the public just yet. It's available still for order on Amazon. You're gonna get it towards the end of August. So I need to actually edit this and get it out quickly so it's uh, relevant content. But there's gonna be something inside of here since my wonderful uh, girlfriend wife pre-ordered this through Fantagraphics, which if you're gonna buy, go through Fantagraphics. They're a small company. Just go through them. Don't go through Amazon, don't go through Barnes & Noble, go through Fantagraphics. But since my girlfriend wife was wonderful and ordered this for me back in December when it first dropped, I got a 2022 Crisis Zone calendar. Yay! And I'm gonna show you the pictures in it just because there's probably not gonna be any way for you to get it at this point. So, let's open this up, I'm so excited. First off, we get a, a nice white blank sheet of paper. Uh, precisely what I am going to do with this, I don't know, but I kind of doubt I am going to throw it away. And here we are. The 2022 Crisis Zone action calendar. Up front, we've got Jackson and Owl, who look like they have just lived through some shit the 2020 year. Opening it up. We've got Jennifer, Grown Diesel, Jackson, Owl. Man, this must be like years in the future. Jennifer has shaved her mustache finally. Owl has sold the house and moved the family to the country. Shit was just getting out of fucking control in the city. Oh my God, he even like, he didn't, 
this is so, so cool. He didn't even like just do a pre-made calendar down below. He dated all of this, did it by hand. Like that's so Hanselman. Oh, we've got Meg is back with her mom. No sign of Mog. Something pinned to the wall. February, Meg has been forced to move in with her mother. Everything continues to completely and utterly fall apart. Everything sucks. February. Jack. Jack is beginning to experiment with soft drugs and is going through a big Bowie phase. His grades are holding steady. Good for Jackson. That was really one of the best parts of Crisis Zone was seeing him kind of grow into his own and go off. This is a little concerning, you know, knowing the path that Werewolf Warehouse Jones um, takes in life. But soft drugs, you know, it's weed and you're listening to Bowie. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Booger's still selling thongs. Booger has built a thong empire. Her branded thongs are available exclusively at Target. She and Kenneth are now married. That's wonderful. Good for Booger. These drawings, I'm so excited to have this on my wall. I'm not going to get rid of it, for sure. Oh, we're in jail. Prison talent show. Time moves slowly in prison. The yearly talent show provides a welcome distraction, a time for unfettered interpretive dance set to Enya. <laughs> cool. Oh, Jen is full, full blown Jennifer now. Jen's big day arrives, bored of anal, the family decides to invest in a shiny new vagina for their queen. Good job, Jennifer. <laughs> Man. Oh no. Mog and Mitzi continue to scrape by. They own their shitty house and are surviving easily on Mitzi's cam work. Everyone's on meth. Yep, Mog just looks absolutely dejected. You got a pack of kittens just bouncing around, lighting off fireworks, being shot out of the house, got one on fire. Things are bad for poor Mog. <laughs> Desi joins the military. Desi is causing quite a sensation at the junior recruits summer boot camp. Two weeks in, three instructors have been fired. <laughs> Good job, Desi. August. Cool Kit Kat clock. Valeria Malvestio. Contemptuous wench. September. Late at night when everybody is asleep. Owl is buzzed and in a philosophical, reflective mood. He spies upon Valeria's Facebook and is depressed and irritated by her success. Owl will never get the, the long end of the stick, and that is okay, because Owl is just a terrible person. He looks really buff, though. Quite buff. Oh, yeah, even here. Maybe he actually did work out a little bit. It's Halloween time. Jack is suddenly too old to give a shit. More candy for scummy Desi. Oh, that is Jack. Yeah, Jackson must have hit <laughs> hit a growth spurt and is now incredibly long. Little Mandalorian reference. Everybody, <laughs> everybody's dressed up as the fucking Mandalorian. Scummy Desi. <laughs> oh no. The crowded cities continue in their decline due to inept, milk toast governing and never-ending tensions. If you were still alive at this point, sorry. Yeah, got a little HTML flowers reference back here. So, so much exposure. Shit, and broken glass, and hypodermic needles, and masks everywhere. God bless Simon Hanselman for this. Honestly, this is incredible. And that's right, Werewolf Jones, non-canonically, but in this timeline, is dead. December, a trip to pay tribute to the Anus King. Here he lies in his eternal slumber beneath a blanket of snow. This must be the one year anniversary of Werewolf Jones. Jack, having hit puberty, is taller than Owl and looks quite sad. Desi looks a little sad. Wow. And Simon Hanselman recommends Crash Shite by Nathan Cowdery. And that is the only artist I'm familiar with on there.
but I'm absolutely gonna have to look into some of this because if Simon recommends it, that is good enough for me. Back cover 2022, assuming it actually comes to pass. The hottest webcomic of 2020, the hottest book of 2021, and now the hottest calendar of 2022 contains no listing for public holidays, religious events, moon cycles, etc. Everything is meaningless and what sensible person even leaves the house these days anyway. Plenty of free space to write in your own made up holidays, pets, birthdays, bowel movement charts, hopes and dreams. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want with it. It's your fucking life. Good luck with it all. Another horrible year of anxiety and disappointment. More dead friends, more injustice, more days where you can barely drag your body out of bed. Day after day after day. Ah, uh, beautiful. I cannot wait to hang this on my shelf. This is sensational. But now let's put it away, get into the meat and potatoes. Simon Hanselman, Crisis Zone, baby. Characters, Meg, Welfare Witch, Mog, Meg's Crappy Boyfriend, Owl, Uptight Straight Man, Werewolf Drones, Raging Id, Diesel and Jackson, Scummy Children, Booger, Transgendered Boogie Woman, Mike, Passive Wizard, Ian, Smelly Bear, Dracula Jr., Gutter Philosopher, Amelie, Aging Drug Addict, Valeria, European Woman, You, Godlike Observer. When you buy a Hanselman book, read every detail that he puts in here. It's all handwritten, it's all hand done. There's an advertisement in there, exclusive epilogue, which I'm not gonna touch, because if you go to his Instagram, all of this is on here. March 13th, 2020, that's the first day that he put this on Instagram. This is gonna be more tailored to be a book format. However, all of this is on there except exclusive epilogue. So if you want that, just go buy the book. It's like 20 bucks. And then when you realize how incredible of an artist he is, go buy any of the other ones. Bad Gateway, Amsterdam, One More Year. They're hilarious, heartwarming, depressing, bleak, realistic. Go check it out. Crisis Zone. On Instagram, he does 10 panels because that's how many are in an Instagram carousel. But on here you get each one gets an additional two panels, which is how he traditionally formats his books. So you do get, I don't remember precisely how many more pages, but some of it's filler content, some expands the story, some it kind of tweaks the punchline, but it's all something different. I am so excited to just sit down. Oh, that's right, Mike's mom, Mrs. Mike. Everyone coming over and living. Building the tree house. We need to get out of the city. Shit's about to get hardcore. That's right. Meg gets really into Animal Crossing because Animal Crossing came out a little bit before this and that's why there was like a switch shortage. Everyone was buying one, staying home, playing. Meg goes off into her own world. It's just positively awful. Ian. Dracula Jr. Knowing where this goes, it's a lot like Game of Thrones when you first rewatch season one and you're just like, oh my God, everyone, it looks so different and alive. Flipping back through this, I forget how insane this story got and I am just so excited. Yeah, Owl gets COVID, goes and lives in the shed. Um... I don't want to give too much away, so I'm just going to start flipping random pages. God, the details on this is just incredible. And I want to say these were all back on Instagram before Simon had to start censoring his posts. So if you look at his new stuff, there's going to be black bars over wieners. Oh, Hosa! Oh my god! Hosa the Hot Sauce Company. That's another one. Uh, Simon Hanselman, I'm gonna step out. In a bit of just brilliant marketing, Simon created and teamed up with Hosa, a hot sauce company in Washington, and created well Werewolf Jones and Sons Private Reserve The Standard, 
which is perfect for uh, daddy burgers. And it's literally an ad. So the day this was released, they did an Instagram post advertising Hosa sauce. Just genius. This is such a fun trip back through time. Like, such a fucked up year. Dracula Jr. Oh, and we're into the flashback at this point. Carrot Bottom. Oh, man. If any of this seems at all interesting to you, I don't want to give any more away. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it right there. Crisis Zone. So excited to have this. So excited to read through this. If this at all piqued your interest, go read it on Instagram. Or if you just want the wildest ride, you don't even need to know the characters, really. Because this is non-canonical. This exists in a separate Crisis Zone timeline other than, you know, One More Year, Amsterdam. This is its own thing. Simon does have new stuff coming out. He's gonna get back to Meg's Coven, which was what he wanted to work on before 2020 hit. Um, and now we've got Crisis Zone. But if you like this at all, just go buy the book. You'll have it in a couple weeks at this point. And go order from Fantagraphics. Seriously, their shipping is stupid fast. Their pricing is exactly the same as Amazon or Barnes & Noble or any other place you can buy it. And then you're supporting a smaller company. You're supporting Simon. You're supporting Fantagraphics. You're allowing more things like this to happen. And Simon just had a kid. So, like, seriously, just go buy this and read it. And even if you never look at it again, it's such a great work of art. Like, look at the thickness of this thing. She's a real beaut. There's... 287 pages. There are 10 panels per page. That's so much content. And the story is just wild. Go check it out if you like comics. Go check it out if you like reading. Go check it out if you have a sense of humor at all. This is one of the funniest, most bizarre, off-the-cuff stories I've ever read. It got myself and I know so many Hanselman fans through 2020. When it ended, I felt a real sense of loss. I feel sorry for anyone that gets to read this but didn't get to like wait day for day for day, post after post after post, and just seeing where it went. So Simon Hanselman, thank you. You did a phenomenal job with this. The calendar's hysterical. The book is incredible. I can't wait to just read this over and over again. Thanks for getting everybody through 2021. Uh, and thank you at home for watching the first High Hide Opens Up. I hope you dig it. If you did, there are going to be more open up with less talking and more just me opening things. Uh, but I, I had to just tell you all about Crisis Zone. This is phenomenal. I'm so glad this exists. And I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the video. And if not, it's free content, man. What do you want?